Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're gonna go over the 2018 Summerland 2820BH. This is a nice bunk model. You have the double over double bunks in the back, big super slide here as well, which makes it a nice wide open camper. Let's start off here on the kitchen. Uh, if you take a look at the countertop, you see that you have some decent prep space over here on the side. You also have some room right in the back here, maybe a good place for like a coffee pot. Same thing with a little bit of storage area here and some more preps uh, surface over to the right of the cooktop, which is nice. And then because this is a bigger camper, they just like you would expect, they give you a full three burner cooktop as well as a large single bowl sink there. The sink does have a high rise faucet and it is a pull out faucet, making it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. If we take a look over at the cooktop here, you drop down low, you'll see that this one also has an oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. As far as storage, you have two drawers right over here. So, you know, probably a good spot for your silverware here and then maybe some of your other utensils like a spatula or big serving spoon, things like that. Underneath the sink, you have a cutout as well as some more storage there, which personally is exactly where I'd put a trash can because that's exactly where I want it. Now, as we move over further yet, one more drawer. This could either be a catch-all drawer or maybe if you want to put hot pads or something in there, you can do that. Or, you know, again, if you want your silverware there, you can certainly do that as well. And take a look right up front here. This gives you a little uh, versatility, some options here, but you have two large drawers stacked on top of each other. Maybe not a bad, bad spot for some pots and pans. And then over right here to this side, you have this large opening. Now, another option here is because, you know, this is right where you walk in the door. If you want to put some shoes and stuff in there, you can. But honestly, there's a much better spot, and I'll show you that in a, just a little bit. Let's take a look all the way across the top here. You see here, you have some storage, good pantry space. Microwave right next to that, and then additional storage over to the side. Fully functional hood here with a light and fan. You have a couple LED lights underneath, a big window to let in natural light, two electrical outlets, one right over in this corner and then one over in this corner over here. Right in between the two, you'll also see you have your, uh, your water heater. Notice that this does run off both propane and electric. You can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Directly underneath that is your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump switch. And then right here, is the fridge freezer combo so take a look there plenty of space a couple drawers there underneath as well this unit runs off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over moving in a little bit further so we take a look at this you see this huge wide open space uh, this again lets you do a number of different things myself personally i'd probably put a tension rod up here and use it to hang kids clothes but that's just me if you want to put some shelving systems in there use it for a giant pantry you can certainly do that too you want to put you know a vacuum and a broom in there you can do that uh, but you know it is a big wide open space and then underneath you see you have two large drawers there as well if we take a look in the back here you have the bathroom one of the things I do like is the fact that you have a second door to this camper directly into the bathroom. I really like that, especially with the bunk model. That way the kids can come in, they can use the bathroom and head right back out, rather than traipse and dirt throughout your entire camper. You'll also see right over here, you have your sink top and vanity there. Underneath, you have some additional storage. And then if you take a look up top, you have electrical outlet there as well as a mirrored medicine cabinet. Right here is your foot flush lever toilet. You can see when I sit down there, you definitely have plenty of room. And then over to this side is the tub shower. I'll take a step in here just to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot. You can see that I am up in the vent here. So, you know, if you're much taller, you're six two, six three, you probably have to hunch over a little to be able to shower in here. Uh, but you have the shower curtain here. The thing I like about the tub is one, you can give kids a bath, but two, when the shower curtain is in here, you don't have a bunch of water going all over the door, it tends to stay in the tub a little bit better. Hand wand there, and then some shelves behind me as well. Now when we step back out, you'll see over here to the side are your bunks. In the industry, it's what we call a double over double bunk, meaning that they are double wide. The cool thing about that is if you have older children, they're still comfortable sleeping here, or if you have younger children, you wanna put two to a bed, you can do that as well. 300 pound weight capacity on here, which is great. And take a look, they're nice thick mattresses. A lot of manufacturers are using mattresses that are about half this thickness, but here you know that your kid's going to be nice and comfortable. 
You also have a window on both the top and bottom, LED lights on both the top and bottom. In my opinion, most importantly, you have electrical outlets on both the top and bottom. Now folks, I know that we go camping to try to get away from electronics, but having both bunks, having an electrical outlet is awesome, especially if you have two kids, they're not fighting over who gets which bunk, and on the rainy day, they can both sit there with their tablets or phones or whatever and be entertained so you're not tearing your hair out. Another thing I really like is this right here, which is a built-in ladder. Now I know, you know, it may not seem like a huge deal, but what I've uh, seen a lot of times is most of the time, the kid that wants the top bunk is the smaller kid, right? Your older kids, they don't want to climb up there. They want convenience. They just want to slip in here. But the, the younger ones love the top bunk and it's hard for them to get up because, you know, they step here, they don't generally have the upper body strength to pull themselves up and over. So having the built-in ladder makes it simple for them to climb up. If we take a look at the super slide, nice big dinette here. You know, I'll swing in here. You can see I have plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit and have a meal together or play a game together. And if you need additional sleeping space, you can take these two legs out right here. The table drops down and that will form another bed. Windows, not only in the backs of the slides, but also on the side of the slides let in a ton of natural light. Dual USB port right here. So that way, whether you're sitting at the dinette or the couch, you can plug in your electronics. You have storage going across the top here. And then you have your jackknife sofa right here. So the big advantage of a jackknife, folks, is this. The fact that you have all this storage here underneath. It's a great place to store extra bedding or other large items. Fairly easy to get to. And this does drop down into a bed. Now granted, it's not the largest bed in the world, but a child can sleep there or if an adult wants to curl up into a ball, they can too. You'll also see this has a drop down center armrest with a, a couple of cup holders there. Now, one of my favorite parts about this floor plan is this right here. Uh, we'll start on the entertainment center. So you can see you have a spot to put your TV here. Multimedia center underneath, that unit is Bluetooth capable, controls both the speakers inside and outside. You have some storage underneath that, and then additional storage going all the way across the top here. But this right here is what I really like. It's the fact that you have a coat hook as soon as you walk in. You have this nice little bench seat, and then underneath you have shoe storage. I really wish more manufacturers would put this in because it is super convenient. You know, you have to have a spot to hang your jackets. You have to have a spot to put your boots and shoes, and this just makes everything nice and orderly. The bedroom houses an RV queen, which is 60 inches wide by 74 inches long. Both sides there you see you have kind of like nice little carpeted nightstand. The thing I like about this is it is big and open. If you uh, travel with a small furry companion, like a small dog or cat, and you like to have them sleep with you at night, kind of gives them a little bed there too. You'll also notice you have electrical outlets there, so if you need to plug in any electronics or a CPAP machine, you can do that. And this side over here is pretty neat. As you can see right here, it actually has a little chute for your dirty clothes, a little clothes hamper area. So what you do is just put a basket right in your pass-through, take your dirty clothes, drop it right down, and it gets them out of the way for you. On the sides of the bed, you have hanging wardrobe space there, as well as a shelf right here in the center. Uh, in case you want to put some extra folded clothes up there, knickknacks, whatever you want. And then right underneath is an LED light for reading. All right, folks, now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the Summerlin 2820BH. Starting off right up front here, you get a power tongue jack. You want to make it nice and simple to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle? This right here will do it for you. Just flip the switch here to make your tongue go up and down. Then you have a light there for some added visibility at night. Directly behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. And right behind that, you see rails here for your battery. Coming up the front is your black diamond plating, which will help protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right here on the side, you see the pass-through. Notice it's a good size pass-through. You have a nice large door on this side as well, so you can fit some bigger items in there like your larger chairs or a grill. And you also have a light in case you are getting items at night. Right down below here, you see you have power stabilizer jacks. This control right here will control both the front jacks. There's a second control in the back that will control the two rear ones. You have a power awning on this camper here. Just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And then you also have an LED light strip underneath. So that way you have light at night, just flip a switch and you are good to go. 
Underneath that is your two outside speakers. As I had previously mentioned inside, those are connected to your multimedia center. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable so that we can sit out here underneath your awning and be able to control your music on your device. You do have two entrances into this camper. One is right here. You have the three foldable out steps there. You'll have the same thing in the back. Remember the front one is your primary entrance. The rear one takes you directly into the restroom. Right over here is your electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in, you know, any kind of, again, electronics, or maybe you want to set up a electric griddle out here. Maybe you're cooking everyone pancakes. You're going to be the hero of the campground. Right there is the spot in which you can do it. A right, water heater right there. Making our way back a little bit further, if you look at the tires, these are nitrogen filled tires. So hopefully they'll hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. This is something you don't see very often, but I always enjoy, and that is a campsite outside shower. Uh, this does have both hot and cold water access and it just makes it a lot more accessible, especially being right next to an entrance. Let's say, you know, the kids are down playing at the beach. They have a bunch of sand all over their feet. Come right in here, grab the outside shower, wash it off and now they can head right into the bathroom, shower up, do whatever else they need to do. But again, this helps keep dirt and other things out, whatever other uses you may have for it. Maybe you wanna clean fish, maybe you wanna clean the dog, who knows? But again, I like having it on the camp side. Uh, as we come around to the back side here, again, right here is your rear uh, power stabilizer. You can see that right there. But take a look right next to that. In between that and your steps, you have a propane quick connect. So if you wanna do some cooking outside, you can grab your grill, plug it in right there, and now you're cooking outside using your two big 20 pound bottles rather than getting these small green ones. Right here on the back, you have your standard square tubular bumper. You have the caps on there, so simply remove the caps and that gives you a storage spot for your sewer hose so you don't have to store it up front in your pass-through. Mounted to that is your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's riding right back here for you. Cable inlets on the back of the coach, you'll see that guy right there. And if you look up in the center toward the top, uh, you see a lot of sunlight, but beyond that, uh, you'll also notice there's a backup camera prep there. So if you do want backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to be installed, meaning it will save you a lot of money on labor. Come around to the off door side, folks. Take a look at this. Not only did you have the big pass through storage, but you have this uh, extra awesome storage right here. So, you know, if you're looking for a camper with lots of outside storage, this certainly will fit that mold. Right here is your 30 amp power cord. Just pop this guy open, that will let you pull the cord out. And if we take a look underneath here, you will see that you have your termination there. And then if we make our way up front on the other side of the slide, last thing I do want to point out right here is your water connections. The one on the right is your city water. The one on the left there is your fresh tank fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Summerlin 2820BH. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.